I promise you I'm not becoming a gaming channel, but this kind of content is getting a lot of clicks right now, and there always seems to be more and more news relating to Project Cars 3. Let's start off, as we did with the last video, with some news of some more cars that are now definitely going to be in the game. Now, we called this one in the top 10 cars list because for the first time, SMS is showing off the new indie cars that are going to be in the game. Uh, now, obviously, we had the indie cars in the old game, but this is the 2019 grid from the NTT IndyCar series. As this little gaggle of cars is being led by the number 20 Ed Carpenter Scuderia Corsa car with what appears to be the number 59 Carlin car bringing up the rear. I presume that the new livery editor will allow you to actually edit the deliveries on these cars and I don't think that these will be an exception. Now moving on to something tasty, obviously following the announcement that pit stops would not be in the game, there was a massive outcry on social media and arguably I was involved in that outcry as well, I mean rightfully so, I mean give the people what they want. However, don't worry because it looks like the SMS may actually be starting to listen. Turns out if you send an onslaught of complaints to someone or a group of people, they tend to notice. On July 9th, Codemasters posted the latest edition of their Cody's Racing Line blog, and among the usual F1 and Dirt news, there was a small segment from the social media and community manager of Project Cars 3, Fernando Mutino. And actually, before I get into what Fernando said, can I just say that Codemasters had no hand in how Project Cars 3 currently is, because if you think about it, this game has been in development for a long time, and Codemasters only bought uh, SMS a number of months ago, and even from the start, SMS said they wanted to make a spiritual successor to Need for Speed Shift. I believe the game was. So Cody's didn't have anything to do with how the game is now, this is all SMS. But anyway, this is what uh, Fernando had to say. Since the announcement trailer of Project Cars 3 last June, quite a lot has happened. I've been keeping a close eye on the reaction from our community and have been taking notes of the valuable feedback fans have been sending our way. We know our fans are just as passionate about the franchise as we are, and it's my job to make sure the fans are getting a good and open look at our new game. There's a lot of cool stuff happening behind the scenes, and as a racing game fan myself, I really can't wait to get the green light to get it all out to you. We're only around six weeks from launch, so get ready for more details about Project Cars 3 coming your way on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Now, the big takeaway from this is not only is there going to be more content that is going to be revealed, Fernando here also mentioned that they are taking note of the feedback from fans. Surely this has to relate to the pit stops. That's all anybody's been talking about on Discord, on social media, and on YouTube. I mean, obviously, there are a few fans that do agree with the decision, and I, I don't agree with it, but I understand it because not a lot of people actually, you know, use the pit stops other than the league racers, which I am a league racer, so I do understand the importance of it. But, um, obviously, pit stops have really been the talk of the town among the Project Cars uh, fan base, and... Uh, Maybe SMS, while it is late in the game, will listen to fans and implement pit stops into the game. There's always the potential that this will end up being like the Sonic movie, if you will, of racing games. What hap what may happen is, and this is just a prediction, they haven't confirmed anything, this is just what I'm thinking right now. If they do make the decision to implement pit stops into the game, or maybe make other significant changes, they may delay the release date by maybe a month or maybe a few weeks so they can put pit stops in the game. Who knows? What do you think? Comment below. Unfortunately, there is some more bad news that was released on Twitter. Now, while you will be able to select female driver avatars, which is a good thing as it's important to include females in the sim racing community, you won't be able to select a Labrador, which is terrible. What were SMS thinking? Why would you remove such a key aspect of the game. That is an absolute disgrace. I want to play a Labrador in the game. I would love to actually drive as a Labrador. Imagine a helmet on a Labrador, a race helmet and a race suit on a Labrador. I think that would be absolutely superb. And they've denied us that. That's just, that's just dreadful. 
Anyway, that's all the latest news on Project Cars 3. I promise for you real world racing fans, there is content on the way. Uh, let me know what you actually do think of the Project Cars 3 content. Let me know what you think of the Indy cars uh, and the driving driver avatars and the lack of Labradors, which I think, you know, you'll agree with me in saying that is a terrible decision. Uh, it's, I do, I, well, put it all in the comments below. I do actually read all of the comments. You may as well say something, and I will most likely respond to you. All the socials are in the description below, including the teaser, our Instagram, Twitter, and Discord server, as well as my own personal Twitter. Please go check those links out if you haven't already done so. Anyway, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.